whenever someone makes you choose between them or some other thing in the name of love, then it is not love, it is control. It is pure manipulation because they are creating terms and conditions for being there with you. You can only hang out with us if you do this particular thing. There is a kind of a authoritative energy there that they want to be in control of what you do and do not do. And this authoritative energy is a representation of the matrix. Everything in the matrix is controlled through fear. When a person is fearful, when you are able to create the energy of fear in someone, they become really easy to manipulate and control. And people use attachment to create fear in you. When you are attached to someone, they can create any kind of narrative to control you. And that attachment can become really toxic for you because it is taking away your sovereignty. It is taking away your freedom. For just once, if you settle, if you say, okay, let's just do what they want me to do because they just love me and you believe in that conditional love, then it will keep happening again and again. Because once someone sees that you are open to being controlled, you can sacrifice your sovereignty. Then you start attracting people who are manipulators because you are becoming a vibrational match to them. Every time you give your power away, you are becoming a vibrational match to those people. So the first thing you need to understand that everyone, whether it is a very close family, friend, everyone who says that you have to do this, otherwise we will not love you, you can't be with us or something like that, you have to question that is that really love or is that attachment. There is a huge difference in love and attachment. Love has no conditions. In love you are accepted and loved for who you are, not what they want you to be. In attachment, their ego is attached to you and your ego is attached to them. You both have a certain narrative in your head. And because of that narrative, you think you love them. But in present, they may be really toxic for you. In present, they may be draining your energy. So you have to realize that the narrative is not the truth. It has nothing to do with reality. Reality in this moment. That how are they treating you in this moment. Not what you had in the past with them. Past is gone. It's just in your head. The truth, the reality is in the now. And if you think that this is control, then just take your power back by not doing what they want you to do. When a person steps into their power and start living a real life, a real authentic life, they start pissing off everyone who is living a fake one. So if you want a life of freedom, if you want your power back, you must be willing to piss other people off, disappoint those people who want to control you. And you owe yourself this much, your spirit this much, that you speak out for yourself. When any kind of authoritative energy tries to control you, it is your responsibility as a sovereign being that you respond to that with absolute empowerment by stepping into your full power, by speaking your truth. You are under no obligation to take any shit from anyone. This is your life and it is your choice how to live it. So become aware of your power. Don't let that energy leak out. Don't let others control you. Because that control is a huge form of manipulation. And the more you give your power away, your life will not be even yours. It will just be a byproduct of what other people want from you. The gap between your authentic self and other people's needs will be so big that you will get lost. You will not have yourself in the end. And speaking your truth is important right now more than ever. It is time for you to step into your power, to stand up for what you believe in, for who you are, which is truth, which is love, not fear and control. Because love is not about control or manipulation. Love actually sets you free. It makes you sovereign. Much love to you all.